So I picked up the Utopia 360. Typically I would do an unboxing on this. Uh, you will see a little bit of unboxing through the video itself. Uh, I picked this up and there's some things I like about it and some things I don't. Uh, one right off the bat that I don't like is this little controller here. will connect to my iPod but it does absolutely nothing. It won't even work at all, period. Now I did a little bit of researching on the web and apparently other people are having the same issue with this thing as well. So it's not just me. Uh, some people say that there's work, some people say it doesn't. So there is apparently some of these are faulty. So uh, anyways, apparently there's absolutely nothing anyways other than turn up the volume or push one button here and there. So it's pretty useless anyway. So it doesn't matter as much. But my iPod itself has a rubber casing around it and the issue was is the casing itself is the exact same size as a normal iPhone itself now the problem was is just having a little bit of weight in here from the iPod itself if you tilt this thing down a little bit this here would flip open and this here could end up making your iPod or your iPhone hit the floor this is one thing I don't like about this it's held on by a magnet. What I did, I did a little bit of modifications to it. I stuck this um, steel piece out. I pushed it out a little bit. Uh, that way it can connect to the magnet a little bit better. And I've actually cut a line here and here. So I've had to do a little bit of work with this just to get my iPod to fit properly. Because I ain't taking it out of its case. Especially on this hard plastic, I don't want to scratch it, so a little bit of modification to something that's 20 bucks isn't that bad. Now, I have um, I have a screen recorder ready so that way you guys can see what's going on. Uh, it's that, what the hell is it? There's a pain in the ass to put on here since this thing's not jailbroken, but it's air shoe. And uh, since it does not record um, sound from the uh, from the system itself and just outputs through a microphone, I decided that I'm going to use this in order to record um, the sounds coming out of the game itself. So Airshoot is running. Good, good, good. Um, I will do the roller coaster first. And I will get this thing ready to put in here. So I'm just setting my iPod into casing here. I can hear it. There we go. Put this on my head. Guess I'm gonna have to hold this too. Okay, cords to deal with. Fix the quality. Oh yeah, there we go. Whoa. I can't spin around because I got stuff in my hand here. I'm still used to holding on to this because I don't trust it, not yet. We'll go one more time. You can see that roller coaster in the distance? Right now, I'm ready to go on. Looking at the sun. Ooh. This is not a bad roller coaster. It is in 3D.
That's cool. Alright, so back here. I'm gonna start all this all over again. Okay. So I'm gonna grab this. I just have to look. It's all good. Um, that's it. Go through here. To the door. Um, grab that pick. Stick in this deer. Now you get a key. Key in the door. Go through the door. All right. Go forward. Sounds pretty spooky, right? I can't wait. Grab it. So that knob goes to this dresser. Crap, I gotta grab it first. There we go. Go forward. <laughs> yeah, the screwdriver. We need to get the rail. Grab that for the door. Go through the door, and this is where it crashed, so I have no idea from here. Alright, so I'm in a new place. Let's go. Okay, gotta grab something to that. Holy pick. Downstairs. Hammer. Should I smash it open? <laughs> Anything else? Nope. Alright, let's go back. Upstairs. Use hammer. One. <laughs> Smash it open. <laughs> it's a wrench for. Door? I was about to say, that'd be pretty stupid. Hmm. So this is kind of like a mystery sort of deal. Okay then. Can you use it on the window? I want to make sure I don't bump into my table here. So I'm gonna just move back a bit. All right, my camera just overheated, so uh, I did play a little bit of video for you guys. Uh, this thing is actually not bad. Um, I had to do a little bit of tweaking to get it working right. Too bad this doesn't work, and apparently all the features to what it would hold. So other than that, this thing's not bad. Um, I, I would really like to see something better though and that would probably be the PlayStation virtual reality headset or the one for the PC. Maybe someday in the future I'll get to try that out. Meantime, I'm going to stick with this and I'm going to continue playing with it. That just went out wrong. <laughs> but anyways, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy this. Please do raise the subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.